What's up guys, Ben Clark here for Adaptive Perform. Today I'm gonna to go through a beginner HIIT workout. This is great if you haven't done any exercise for a long time, you're new to it, or if you just, uh, you're not that strong and you're not that confident. So this is gonna be a really great introduction to doing some of my other HIIT workouts that I've done on the channel. So first of all, we're gonna do a warm up, nice and easy, swing your arms, check out one of my other videos on warm ups, and then we're gonna get straight into it. All right then, we've got four exercises to do. We're gonna do them four times each. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. That's gonna be 16 minutes in total. So nice and quick and easy, you can do this anywhere. So just gonna start on my interval app. Got 20 seconds to go. So again, this is really great for if you're a beginner or you know, you're not quite confident in yourself and doing some of the HIIT workouts. First one we're gonna do, is gonna just lean forwards and pushing ourselves up. Okay, so this is good to work the triceps. Two seconds left, off we go. We go down, push yourself up. Make sure you extend the hands all the way down, all the way up. So again, this is great for beginners. 30 seconds, pushing all the way up. If you wanna, you can do, go a bit further down and push them here. Or you can go all the way to the floor, touch, and then try and get yourself back up. Touch in, and that's one. So you're gonna do three more of those. So it's very low impact. You're not really gonna get injured doing this. So as again, great beginner tool. So 15 more seconds rest. Five seconds. Ready, off we go. Pushing up, extend all the way down, or push it, touching the floor, and coming back up. So that's a good way to progress, you know, getting further down each time, and pushing yourself back up. If you can, try and do it without your hands. If you've got lower back function, you can get yourself up. If you don't, just use your hands to help you get up. It's also great for getting a bit more range of motion. So you get that range of motion, loosen up the muscles in your back, which is like, you know, tight from sitting down all day as well. So this might seem easy, but that's fine. As I said, this is just an introduction. Once you get confident with this, you can move into some of the other ones. So just a bit more rest. Halfway on these ones. One, off we go. Touch the floor, back up. Try and speed up a bit if you can. Just sit up straight, don't lean back, because otherwise you might tip backwards in your chair, we don't want that. So yeah, speed up a bit. It's meant to be as hard as you can. On the 30 seconds, that's the idea of hit. You push yourself to the limit and you rest. There you go, rest in there. So, you get, so build yourself up, push yourself harder each time. All right, one more on these. I'm gonna move on to the second exercise. Yeah. Five more seconds. Let's try and push it really hard on this last one. Go the fastest you can. Oh, light's gone out. <laughs> Do you mind putting it back on for me? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, they come back on. Maybe they're on a sensor. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's the first exercise done. Second one we're gonna do, we're gonna lift our hands up, and we're gonna go from here to here, up and down, like that. So again, might seem easy, but you know, for some people this might not be. Again, this is a good beginner way, good introduction. Five more seconds. Two, 
one, off we go. This is also great if you've got any injuries in certain places, but you still need to keep fit, but you want to keep injured. Keep, you, know, you want to keep fit, not, you don't want to be injured. <laughs> Mix my words up. So you should feel this just in the uh, deltoids here, in your shoulders. Start with small motions, go bigger. Rest in there. You can squawk like a bird if you want to, seeing as you're doing the action. <laughs> All right, so rest in here. Once you get confident as well, you can uh, increase the amount you're doing in terms of exercise and decrease the rest. You can go 40 seconds uh, with, on the, uh, the hard interval, 30, uh, 20 seconds on the easy, or, or the other way around if it's too hard. But again, this should be fairly easy to do. Make sure when you're doing this, we're raising up and down with the shoulder blades. You're increasing that range of motion as well. So you're shrugging up as you go up as well. Yeah, for some people, this will feel like a, you feel like a good burn all the way along in your trapezius muscles and into your deltoids as well. So two more of these. So if you're quite a high level quadriplegic, you know, getting these up is, you know, that's gonna be exercise enough in itself, but it's good, you know, it's a good progression to get into more things, especially if you're new to it, you know, if you're recently injured or, you know, you're not used to exercising, you know, again, Raising up those shoulder blades. Let's get, if you can, get a bigger range of motion. And stop there. One more. So I can feel. My heart rate's gone up a bit. So even somebody, you know, I'm fairly fit and still gets my heart rate up a little bit. So it might look easy, but you know, might not be. All right, five more seconds. Last one of these. Off we go. So once you get better, you can go faster. There you go, rest in there. So that's that one done. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do boxing. So just hitting forwards with your hands. Halfway on the rest. So this boxing, just keep the pace up. If you haven't got, if you're reaching forwards and you're going to fall forwards, just do shorter punches, just do halfway, so you don't fall forwards too much. But if you can, push all the way forwards, you know. Test your balance as well. Punching all the way forwards. Then try and get full range of motion if you can. If you can't, just do short ones, like to here. Do what you can. So, coming up on the finish on, the, on this one. Two, one, and stop. If you want to, you can put this video on, follow with me while you're doing it. Do it in your front room, in front of the TV, on your phone, wherever you're, you know, if you're out and about, you can do this outdoors. It requires no equipment whatsoever. It's just you in your wheelchair, or just sitting down if you're somebody who doesn't use a wheelchair. So, five more seconds. Three, two, 
one, off we go. Try and pick up the pace if you can. Work as hard as you can. It's all about your effort levels and your ability. You do what you can. This is a beginner. You're gonna build up, you know, doing these a couple of times a week, three times, that'd be great. You can build up and in no, no time, you'd be smashing it out and you'd be great. One, and rest in there. So it's halfway through those ones. Got two more. So yeah, if you can do this three times a week, it's kind of Monday, Wednesday, Friday sort of thing. And then uh, in a couple of weeks time, you'll be doing this in a breeze. You can move on to some of the bit more advanced ones that are a bit harder. So five more seconds, two, one, off we go. As I said, because this requires no equipment, you can do it at home. If you're a bit embarrassed going out to the gym, you know, do it just by yourself. You know, not everybody's confident with going to the gym, being out and about in public, exercising. So it's a great way to get your confidence up as well. So if you did want to go to the gym in the future, you know, you're a bit more prepared, you know what you're doing. And rest in there. One more of these. So let's pick up the pace on this last one. So they should all be hard, but try and push yourself each time. You know, you, the idea is to improve, to be healthier, fitter and that. So the only way you're gonna do that is to push yourself hard. If you just go through the motions and take it easy, you're not gonna improve. So make sure it's hard. This one, off we go. Punching. If you've got some core muscle, you may want to make this a bit harder. Sit forwards in your chair and try and balance it up. That's way you're going to be working that core as well as while you're punching. So you can just yeah shuffle yourself forwards in the chair. This makes it a little bit more difficult on your core, which is great. We always want to be working that if you've got it. Right then, to the last one. It's very similar, but we're gonna punch upwards this time instead. So this is gonna be great for your overhead reach. So, you know, we're, so we're building up our shoulders strong. So, you know, when we, you know, lift stuff off shelves or whatever, you know, we're not gonna get injured. So punching upwards this time. So try and reach up as high as you can. As you go up, lift your shoulder blades up as well. So you wanna, Push your shoulders up all the way through. Let's go as quick as we can. Even I feel it on this one. <laughs> so yeah, rest in there. Three more rounds to go and then we're done. So before you do this, make sure you've warmed up nice and ready to go. Once you've finished, you're gonna do a cool down, get some food inside you. Make sure you stay hydrated as well, keep a water bottle nearby. Three seconds, two, one, off we go. So the app I'm using here on my phone, you can download this on you know, the Play Store or the Android, well, I'll see if what, the Apple Store. Yeah, the app. I don't know, I only use Android. <laughs> and yeah, just type in interval app or hit app. You're gonna find something on there. I'm sure if you Googled it, you'd find something. <laughs> My one, you can uh, adjust the rest, the uh, periods of uh, workout and rest. It just makes it easier than using the clock. But if you don't have one, just use your clock, you know? or your watch or just your phone. It's only 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. It's easy to do it throughout the time. All right, two more then. Three, two, 
one, the light's gone again. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> So pushing yourself as hard as you can. Make sure you get in full range of motion though. Oh, feeling the burn on that one. Right, one more to go. Yeah, you should. Feel your heart rate bit up a bit. Feel quite warm in your upper body. A bit looser, a bit freer. Releasing that dopamine into your system so you're feeling happier about yourself. Two, one, off we go. That's this last one. Push it out. Don't leave anything in the tank. Come on, push it all the way. Ten seconds left, come on, all the way. Three, two, one. Rest there. Cool. Give yourself a clap if you've done that. Well done. So just go rest there. Make sure we cool down now. Alright then, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. If you like that, check out some of my other videos on the channel and stay tuned for the next some coming up in the future.